This episode has been brought to you by Flowstate, the unlimited Webflow development service. Find out more at flowstate.dev. Hello and welcome to another episode of Webflow and Code where I teach you the underlying code you're writing in Webflow. Today, I'm gonna to do a really, really quick tutorial because Timothy Ricks released a video showing off this DOM element. And it sparked a bit of excitement and controversy because it looked really exciting, which essentially means you can have any element that you like. But I looked on Webflow and it doesn't show you how to actually get it. And then I saw another video which again demonstrated, um, or at least briefly mentioned the unsplashed um, so what I want to do is really quickly show you how you can get this DOM element, which basically means you can have any element that you like um, on, the, on the page. So you're going to want to go into your website here and click on the apps. Now I'm assuming the way the Unsplashed uh, app works you'll be able to do this as well with uh, FinSuite's table. I don't know, I haven't looked, but this, the Unsplashed app is a, is a very, very clean way of doing it. So I've added it here. You go ahead and add it with under Find My App and you wanna give it access to the sites you wanna give it access to. If you hit Launch right now and just hit that, actually I'll need to go somewhere on the page. Let's just put it below the, yeah, let's just put it in the hero section. Just stick that image in here. This is the only way I've found to do it and uh, we'll keep going with it. You can see now it's added an unsplashed image. If we head over to settings here, here we have the element itself and you can make it into a button, you can remove all of these and you can do everything that Timothy Riggs has shown you or whatever your heart is telling you that you can do. So there we go. There is the DOM element. I wonder if Webflow are gonna actually add this into the plus, the, the add kind of panel here. It would be cool, um, but I suppose there might be some security risks or whatever, but anyway, I'd make this super, super quick. Hope you enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, all the rest of it. And until next time, happy no coding.